Studies have shown in the past that identifying women with low risk breast cancer just with clinical factors alone have not been particularly helpful. And, but increasingly we understand the molecular biology of breast cancer. So our study was really focused on uh, using clinical pathological factors, but also uh, molecular factors such as the, the uh, luminal A subtype, which we identified just using protein markers. So ER, PR, HER2, and in particular KI67. And uh, we uh, did a prospective cohort study where we enrolled 500 women uh, who had low risk breast cancer based on clinical factors. So they had to be uh, greater than 55 years of age or 55 years of age. And uh, they had to have a T1 cancer or N N0, grades one and two. And then we did routine ER, PR, and HER2 testing uh, in the Rhone Hospital Laboratory. And we did KI67 uh, in uh, central laboratories, three laboratories across Canada. And if they had a low KI67, less than 13.25%, they were determined to be luminal A subtype. And they were enrolled in the trial. It were followed for five years. And what we found was a very, very low rate of local recurrence if they were just treated with breast conserving surgery and endocrine therapy alone without RT. So at five years, the rate was 2.3%, and the confidence interval particularly the upper confidence interval was 3.8, well below the 5% cutoff that we chose a priori. Uh, so we felt pretty confident that this rate was low and uh, that these patients didn't require radiotherapy. Of interest, the uh, rate in the contralateral untreated breast cancer was 1.8%, so very similar to the rate of 2.3% that we observed in the treated breast. And overall occurrences were very low as well, 2.7%. So the implication is that if you have a woman that fits these clinical pathological criteria and uh, also the luminal A subtype as we measured it, that their risk is so low that we believe they don't require radiotherapy after lumpectomy, as long as they're receiving endocrine therapy for five years.